Hello everyone, this is Stunter Collector here with another action figure review and here I have the Marvel Legends uh, House of X Magneto, the white Magneto, and here you get the red uh, House of X X-Men logo there and then you get the little symbols that are supposed to spell Magneto and then here you get the symbol with the logo again with a picture of Magneto there using his uh, metal telekinesis. And then here's the back with the same picture. And then if you guys want to pause and read that, you can. And then here's the tri sense no build a figure. And then here's all the figures that we will be collecting. So we got uh, Wolverine, which we already did a review on. We got Professor X, Omega, Prime, Sentinel, uh, Jean Grey. Uh, I got to read the name. Moira, Magneto, which we're doing now. And we just finished Colossus. Uh, and then we get the same picture on the back. Uh, on the other side there, you get the uh, symbol on top there, and then uh, bottom with the DCPI. But besides that, let's crack them open. And here's Magneto out of the packaging here. So first, let's go over the accessories. So he comes with three of these tri sentinel heads that come with the, uh, uh, for the Build-A-Figure. So we'll go over those when we build them. Let's put these away. And then you get uh, a bunch of hands here. So you get two fisted hands here. They're just white, nothing real special about them there. And you got two of the clinching grab out hands where he's gonna use like his um, metallic telekinesis powers. Uh, so yeah, we've seen these hands before. And besides that, that's all we have for accessories. Um, but yeah, let's go over his the actual figure here. So I like the helmet a lot. I'm gonna end up 3D printing the, uh, the Magneto helmet at some point. But uh, I think this is the same helmet sculpt that we've gotten before. I think this is a brand new head sculpt though. Um, you can see the eyes through there. The skin tone's really good. You can see a little bit of roughness around the edges for the paint there, for the white paint uh, along the edges, but it's not that bad. And you got this cool little thing here. I forgot what it's supposed to be, but they got this nice silver paint across the helmet here. Uh, this is the same sculpt, body sculpt as the other one. I don't have the other one, but I think this is the same body sculpt, and I think this is the same cape sculpt too. You get the bolts along the cape collar there, and you get the white cape through there, so that looks real good. And then you get uh, this like gauntlet piece around his um, arm here with the little bolts around the edge here, and then you get some, the rims. And you get these, uh, this hand here, uh, that is like a gripping hand. Uh, so yeah. And then you get the black lines here for extra detailing. You get this belt here. Uh, you get the red X symbol there. So, and I think in this universe, or this comic line, he like teams up with the X-Men kinda, but they're like bad. So yeah, you get the white pouches, you get the red sim X symbol there with the X being black. You get more black lining along the legs and the inner thigh there. But besides that, mainly white. So, and here's the back for you. Belt goes all the way through. I like the belt piece though. They did a good job on the painting there. And then you get more of the black lining throughout the back here. Um, but yeah, and then you guys to take off the cape if you want, but I prefer not to. That was an accident, by the way, for taking it off. Let's try to get that back on there. And yes, I'm going to do the, the articulation with the cape on, because most people are going to have it on anyways. So his head can hinge down that far, up that far. You can look left and right. Uh, a little head pivoting there. His shoulders can move out a little past 90 degrees. You can do 360 rotation around the shoulder. He has a bicep swivel. He has the uh, peg holes still for the elbows. So he has double jointed elbows though. This other elbow doesn't want to really go because the bicep's too big. But yeah, um, his these hands want to hinge side to side, whereas the other ones go up and down. Uh, so yeah, you get 360 rotation around there. He has an ab crunch, so you can go forward that far backwards quite a bit. Uh, he has a waist swivel, so you can rotate 360 there. 
His legs could kick out just that far forward, quite a bit. Backwards, not a whole lot. He has a thigh cut, double jointed knees, still has to peg holes for the knees too. So yeah, um, he has a thigh cut, I mean, uh, shin cut there. His ankles can hinge down that far, up that far, and nice ankle pivot. And there's Magneto for you. So uh, he comes with a decent amount of uh, accessories. I kind of wish they came with like the effects for telekinesis kind of for him, the magnetic stuff, or just like, I don't know, something that has an effective thing for it. Um, but I like the fact that it comes with a bunch of heads. So that way you display with him holding like one of the heads or something off the he uh, sentinel if you want. But, um, but besides that, it comes with the right amount of accessories. I, uh, I wish I had the other one so I could do it side by side, but I don't. Um, so that's the only sad thing. I don't know if it's this old body sculpt. I think it is because it still has some peg holes. Um, but, and they just basically repainted it, I'm pretty sure. Um, but besides that, I actually like the figure. Uh, I'm happy that I got a Magneto figure finally. Um, but besides that, I think this is a pretty cool figure. And um, that's all I've got.